Glory Super Fight Series rolls on coming up in the middleweight division. It'll be Vittorio Yermano, the Neapolitan warrior. He makes his glory debut against Samir Click Click Bukirus, who looked very impressive in winning his first fight in glory. It's Yermano versus Bukirus in the glory middleweight division. Tremendous action already on display here in Italy next month. Glory will wrap up the calendar year with its debut in Amsterdam. December 4th sees kickboxing back in its rightful home with Glory 26 Amsterdam. The Dutch Masters, Verhoeven, and Holtzkin defend their titles for the first time ever on home soil. In an epic rematch, Verhoeven takes on resurgent Romanian Benjamin Adegbui. And Holtzkin looks to make it 10-0 in Glory. Plus, the featherweights fly in the contender tournament for a shot at the title in 2016. Glory 26 Amsterdam, December 4th, live from the RAI Center. This promising young Moroccan is coming off of a knockout win at Glory 20 Dubai. Please welcome Samir Bukidou. The gregarious Samir Click Click Bukidus making his way to the glory ring for the second time. The 36 year old Dutch Moroccan fighter made an ostentatious debut in glory at Glory 20 when he destroyed Mikhail Chalik early in the first round. He used a left right combo to put him down early and then scored a picture perfect overhand right that put the lights out. And he really had an interesting position in that fight. He looked to be on the defensive the whole time, and then all of a sudden when he exploded, it was all over. Tonight he's gonna to wanna to put a lot of pressure on Yermano, especially with low kicks. A veteran of over 30 bouts, he's prepared to take the next step in his fighting career. Here is Vittorio Yermano. From Alasio, Italy, the 30-year-old Vittorio Yermano, known as the Guerriero Propoteo. He is the Neapolitan warrior, started kickboxing at 16. He played soccer before that, imagine that. <laughs> Loves the Napoli soccer team. His late father, Lorenzo, was a fan of kickboxing. He is also a member of the Italian special police force known as the Carabinieri. That's a tough job. I'm telling you, Yermano has that straight up and down Muay Thai stance. He's very aggressive, a pressure fighter, and no surprise, considers himself to be a volume puncher. Three and one this year with one knockout victory. Stepping into the glory ring for the very first time. So we are set for glory action in the middleweight division. Italy's Vittorio Yermano against Morocco's Samir Bukidus. And both these guys are six foot three, similar experience, both in glory and abroad. But Yermano is six years younger, so on paper that should be helpful. But I'm thinking if they stand a trade, that Bukadus's right hand will be a problem. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, we are scheduled for three three-minute rounds this time in the middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner, a WSCA Dutch and European champion. He brings a professional record of 34 wins, two losses, and one draw. 12 of those wins by knockout. At six feet, three inches tall, 1.90 meters, he weighed in at 185 and one half pounds, 84.1 kilos, fighting out of Morocco. He is Samir Click Click Bukidou. His opponent fights out of the white corner, a three-time Italian national champion. His professional record, 27 wins with five losses, 12 of those wins coming by knockout. 
He too stands six feet three inches tall, 1.90 meters, and he weighed in at fight time at an even 186 pounds, 84.4 kilos, fighting tonight out of Alasio, Italy. Ladies and gentlemen, Vittorio Guerrero Parque. Once again, your referee is Tobias Gerald. Tobias Gerald, the third man in the Thank ring. As we are set for three three-minute rounds of the Glory Middleweight Division. Judge. Gianmario. Judge. 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 Time. Fight! Bell and round one. Vittorio Yarmano in the black gloves, Samir Bukidus, or make that Bukidus in the black gloves, Yarmano in the white gloves. Outside low kick by Bukidus. And boy, vicious right hand immediately bounces Yarmano's head back. Bukidus a problem with that right hand, I'm telling you. Bukidus told us that he felt Yarmano was going to be like a cat put in a dark room. He's going to come out scratching and clawing and crazing, yet it's Bukidus who's the aggressor. Bukidus definitely imposing his hands, which are a lot better so far than Yarmano. Bukidus likes to utilize that right knee. Yarmano, also known as a pressure fighter, he has impressed many Italian fans with his ability to throw strong, flashy strikes. As 12 knockout wins, he's 27 and 5 overall. Bukidus 34, 2 and 1. Bukidus, of course, with a victory via form of knockout here in Glory, looking for another one there as he attacks. Step back. Yermano. Yeah, Bukidus has got Yermano on his back foot the whole time. Yermano's got to do something quick. And I would suggest probably throwing his own right hand, but he's got to be very careful if he does so. Past the midway mark of the opening round. There's another one-two that splits the guard of Yarmano. Yarmano looking for the tie plum. He needs to initiate it at a knee strike immediately under glory rules. If you clinch, you must immediately and attack with an effective knee strike. That's right. Many times, fighters that train in Muay Thai have a problem adjusting to kickboxing rules, specifically Glory, where they only have the five-second clinch rule. And no elbows, of course. Exactly. Under a minute left in the first round. Now Yermano looking to turn the tables. Bukidus with a high peekaboo guard. Good jab by Yermano. Counter right hand to the body by Bukidus. Bukidus scooting not forward. Him. Not on the back. And Yermano is not making a pay when he does that with a, with a low kick or a straight right hand. Yermano fighting out of the combat team, Alasio. Under coach Alessandro de Blasio. Bukidus representing the Hammers Gym in the south of Holland, the home of the late great Ramon the Diamond Deckers, a fighting icon who really pioneered the European breakthrough into Muay Thai success in Thailand and all over the world. He really did. Such a great fight. He could punch, he could kick. He was super dangerous, had a lot of power. R.I.P. Mr. Ramon Deckers. <laughs> Round one is official. How do you score it? I got that 10-9. Samir Bukidus. He pressed the action. He landed more shots. He was the cleaner fighter, technique-wise. And here's that uppercut coming in. It's slightly missed for Bukidus. But he kept pressing forward, roundhouse kick. Lands up on the wrist, but then that uh, left hand popped Yamano's head back. Bukidu is very calm, getting instructions from Nick Hammers, whereas Yamano probably thinking he's got to step up his game. Coach out. Don't talk to me. I see it. Okay. Fight. 
Second round underway here in the Palaiper in Monza, Italy. Bukidus in the black gloves, Yermano in the white. Because Bukidus gets things done so many times so early, it must be nice to get into the second round and get some work in. Gets a lot of high quality work at Hammer's gym. Home of the likes of Errol Zimmerman, who returns from injury. Good to see in December in Amsterdam. Philippe Verlinden, Jamal Ben Sadiq, Marak Gregorian. Man, nothing but top quality sparring partners in that gym. Now, Yermano is starting to get busy, but Samir Bukhid is so? defends no well. Technique, okay? Yermano favors kicks and punches from range, but does like the jumping knees using the knee attack here and trying to employ the the Second tie one, the double collar tie. Stop. No more technique, okay? Fight! We're seeing Yermano get more aggressive, and I think it's causing Bukidus to get a little bit emotional. Yeah, he describes himself as a volume puncher. Has to pump up the volume here in round two, and is doing so. Much better round for Yermano. Yeah. Fight. He's doing the right thing. Minute and a half remaining in the second stanza. Look at him starting to get a little wild with his punch. It's not a good sign. Germano with the advantage in both punches landed and he's thrown more. But is, neither has a big connect percentage. Exactly. This is almost like a sparring session in a way. Oh, good couple of right hands from Bukidus. No, it was a nice little shot at the end. It was more of an arm punch than a full oh, velocity gosh. punch. A minute oh, left in the round. Blood around the left eye of Bukidus. Yeah, Bukidus letting the Italian kind of back into this fight. I hope he wasn't overconfident coming in. Stop. Stop. Looking to the corner for direction. Outside low kick to the lead leg. I, I'm not sure why that. would they touch gloves there. I'm I mean, not, yeah, I'm not sure on that. Nowhere near the the nether regions. Usually that means ha ha ha. That wasn't very hard. <laughs> well, that was a hard fall uh -oh. by both of them, and uh, yeah, nasty cut. Come here. Oh, this looks nasty. And the referee calling for a doctor at ringside to check the. The wound of Samir Bukidus. And the crowd here at the Pali Iper with champs of Italia. And the fight is over due to a cut stoppage. Vittorio Yermano wins his glory debut. Much to the delight of the partisan crowd here in Monza, Italia. You know, that was a really spirited comeback, to be honest. Because I, I felt that he was going to slide down the mountain in that second round, but he didn't. He came back and he changed the tempo of the fight. And Bukidus yeah. couldn't land the right hand anymore. It was that knee right there. Bang. That's probably what opened that cut. Extended knee clinches, and I'm glad the referee let them fight in the clinch there for a second. There it is again, going for the plum. It was, it was not a completely perfect plum clinch, but it didn't matter. As long as the knee lands, they chopped away with the right hand over the top two. He's got to be emotional about this, and there he is. Yermano gets the win by TKO. Due to a cut stoppage here in the second round. Oh. Uh, oh that reminds me of that Marvin Eastman uh, cut against like Peter Belfort. With the knee, uh, not maybe not as bad, but bad enough. So the proud supporter of Napoli kickboxing and a member of the Carabinieri, the Italian Special Police Force, while Vittorio Yermano, the Neapolitan warrior, get to celebrate his uh, victory in the glory debut as we look at the strike count. And the strike count, uh, 12 to 4, and the punches landed. That was pretty significant, but the kicks is where Bukidu was doing his best work. They, they uh, went split on the knees, but the knee to the head is the thing that opened up that cut. So one of those seven was the lucky number. Ladies and gentlemen,
Our ringside doctor has stopped this contest to two minutes, 30 seconds of that second round, declaring the winner by TKO, Vittoria Yamano. So an upset here on the Super Fight Series as the debuting Vittorio Yamano defeats Samir Bukidus due to a cut stoppage. Bukidus falls to one and one in his glory tenure. Hammer's corner. Uh, Hammer's Jim Corner doesn't look too happy as they walk with Bookie Deuce back to the dressing room. Well, you never want to see a fight end because of a cut stoppage, but safety is paramount, and that was a nasty gash. Very.